and welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, we're gonna do something special and that is unboxing the new iPad Pro. I know it's been a while since it was released, but I just got my hands on it now and now I'm gonna do an unboxing for you guys and for me as well because I literally just got it. I was a bit reluctant initially, but I just want to see if this will help me as a designer and as a business owner be more efficient and create better designs. Okay, so let's open the box and see what we got inside. As usual, Apple has a very good user experience in terms of, um, just need to blur that, that's my name, in terms of unboxing. Tear this apart. Good. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, we got the pen as well. Obviously, you cannot get an iPad without the pen. Okay, so let's start with the iPad. We're just gonna open this. How do you open it, by the way? Should be very straightforward. Box is very. Come on. It's not easy to get one of these out. Okay. Just need to hold this. It's not very graceful, is it? How do they do it <laughs> when they do the reviews? Oh, this looks nice. So inside we have the actual iPad, which looks amazing, by the way. Oh, and I really love this sound. Oh, this is the best sound ever. Okay. I throw this away we don't need it so what i got is the 13 inch model with the new m1 chip and uh, 256 gigabytes which i hope it will be enough for what i need so let's put this over here and inside the box we have obviously the instructions with some stickers i believe let's see so we have the instructions and then afterwards yeah obviously we have stickers that Apple gives us all the time. I'm just gonna put this away as we don't need them. Never use them though. And inside we have a charger and a USB-C to USB-C cable. So yeah, that's all that is inside the box. So I'm just gonna put the box away as well. Just gonna put this here. I'm just gonna put this here. And afterwards, let's open the pencil as well to see what we have inside the box. It's a nice user experience. The pencil, pencil is the Gen 2 one. And as always, same as the iPad. Inside of this, we have the instructions. And inside the box, we have the actual pen, which, to be honest, looks really nice and feels really nice. Oh, we can just take it out like this. It's just amazing how good quality these things are. So yeah, this is the pen. Very straightforward unboxing. So now, let's see how they work. I'm not sure where you put the pen to charge, on the right side or on the left side. Can you do it on both sides? No, it's actually on the right side of the tablet. You can just stick it there and that will charge the pen and also hold it for you while you use the tablet and now let's power it on and see how it looks nice this looks really good also i did not get any accessories or anything else i as i'm just waiting for those from amazon just because and i did not buy the actual keyboard because i just want to see how i'm going to use this first and see if i actually want or need to use a keyboard and if not i'm just going to use it with the pen select english obviously i'm in United Kingdom. So yeah, this is super nice. <laughs> so yeah, this is really exciting. I'm really curious to see what I can do in terms of design with it and how it will help my workflow. So yeah, now we have like the quick start guide. I just take the pen and see if I can set this up manually. But the pen doesn't work yet, so I will need to put my Beefy password. Okay, okay, so now that I added the password, it will take just a minute to set up the iPad. I'm not gonna get too much into details about the logging in part, as I presume that all of you know that Apple provides a very good user experience for the initial user when they start their device. And now it's setting up everything, the Apple ID and all the other details, which 
will probably take a while. But yeah, I'm really curious to see also how it will work with the paper-like, I believe, screen protector, as I got that from Amazon and I'm still waiting delivery for it. So hopefully I will get that soon until I'm going to do the next video where we're going to put some apps on this uh, new iPad and see exactly how it works and how I will integrate it in my workflow. iPad analytics, no, I don't want to share this with Apple. And yes, I would like to continue and I will like dark mode, please. And finally, we got in. So as you can see, initially, we don't have a lot of apps. We only have the standard ones. And now what we will need to do is to take this new gadget, put some apps on it and start seeing it, how it will work on a day to day basis and how I can integrate or what process from my workflow, I will externalize, let's say, to this iPad. Okay, so now let's see how we set up the pen. So you just attach this, then afterwards you'll be welcomed with the pop-up. Welcome to the Apple Pencil, which is very nice. You hit continue, and then afterwards, I have to use it to write something in the box here. And I'm gonna write... That's not a Q, that was an A. Okay, let's... This is weird, it just, it's just disappeared. I attached it back, now the pencil is working, so I only had to draw like two letters, and that's it. That's how fast, apparently, they get used to my typing. And now it's working with the tablet, which is fine. Let's go into notes really quickly, and try to sc scribble something to see if the pen is working. If I do this, yes, it's working. Super weird when you write on glass, so that's why I cannot wait to see exactly how the paper-like screen protector is. As many people said that it's very good and it actually gives you that paper feel when you're writing or when you're using it. Because this on glass, I have to be honest, is not the same as if you were using a pen and a paper. So it's a bit different. Although it's very accurate, but it's not it's not the same as a pen and paper. So that's uh, that's a drawback, I would say. But it's nothing that you wouldn't get used to it, to be honest. And I really see how this. Now that I'm using it, I will see how this will actually help me out to create and edit fit and edit photos faster, especially in Photoshop, just because you have more accuracy with the pen. Usability is very easy and it's super similar to an iPhone all the Apple users are used to. Also, what I will need to see is if the 256 gigabyte will be enough for my workflow and the stuff that I'm doing daily. So I hope this will be enough storage for me to be able to edit some photos, edit some YouTube thumbnails, use it to do some illustrations and stuff like that. And also probably a few photos and videos just to take, just to use the, the iPad camera. So we will need to see how that will work out. If not, I will need to upgrade my iCloud once again. So in terms of weight, this is pretty light, but it's a bit heavier than my previous iPad, the 13 inch iPad. In terms of design, it looks really slick and super nice. It's very thin. The thing with the pen here, it's a bit wonky, to be honest, when you're holding it like this, but I presume that when you have a case, it will be a bit different. But yeah, other than that, I'm really pleased with how it looks. I know that it's a lot faster than the other iPads just because it has that M1 chip, but still I need to test it out to see how good it is and how fast it is compared to my old iPad. So yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this for a spin and I'm gonna come to you guys with an update to see how you can use this as a UX UI designer or as a business owner to make your life easier and just be more productive and do more in a day. So I will see you in the next video.